I want ain't done. I ain't done. Yo, I, I'm telling you, we just did a good interview, but I don't, she finna get a real, I'm finna curse this bitch out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, this bitch will piss me off, man. Y'all, man, it's Cam. We back. We in the back seat of the Maybach truck right now with Kenny Money doing this interview right now. We pulled up for the day, and um, I didn't think it was gonna happen today. I just ran into him, and then we were able to get it done, though. But Kenny, what's getting, going on, man? Getting it done, Mr. Money, man. What's what's going on, man? How you feeling today? I feel damn good, man. Hell uh, yeah, hell yeah. This museum. Hey, everybody was coming in and out, taking pictures, having fun. Yep, Shit. yep. Dolph's birthday weekend, man. We out here. How we going crazy? pop-up museum man what you think of this man they, this is my first time coming to one of these and I think it's pretty cool I walked around got to see everything and it's like they were able to put a lot of significant events into one place and like tell a good story so what does it mean to you when you come over here and you're walking through it man shit it's motivation and it also just made me feel good that shit when I go in it's just people still his fans and folks that love them just still get to see them mm -hmm. like see different aspects on, you know what I'm saying? They happy, they leave and happy. Yep, yep. Like, I'm sitting in the parking lot just watching everybody leave. They happy, they look happy to me. Yeah, because you know, there's a lot of people, I got to see him one time in Orlando at a random pop-up show he did in August, like 2020, I think. And um, that was the only time I ever got to see Dolph perform. But for a lot of people, they never got to see him. So this might be the first, like, even glimpse of something of his mm -hmm. life they get to see in person. So, you know, I think it's really cool that, you know, the Paper Route team put that all together, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. What's um, what's one of your favorite things about the museum? My favorite part about the museum, you know, my favorite part, the money room. Man. Yeah. It's, it's money all in the room. It's a money room. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Especially the room with all the artists in it. You, um, whenever you walk through, it's like you start from the beginning. Is that like a theme of a store, of, of like in Memphis? His store. His store. You know okay. What I'm like corner store. Okay. You know what type of. You know what type of nigga doll for you. You yep. know, ain't street nigga. Yep, yep. So it's like you get that real feel of like an old corner store and then all the old snacks and stuff. Like yep. it's like you're walking into a grocery store, then you walk into the next room and it's like the beginning of his career and it's showing like the old computers, the old mics and stuff. Yeah. And I think that's really cool. Like um were you a part of that at that time? Were you able to see the come up back then? I mean dog, two different ages, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When he was doing what he was doing, I was in the elementary middle school or something. Okay. Man. I was running the streets though. Yeah, <laughs> but you weren't saying? around none of that I yet. Around, nah, I yeah. wasn't around none. I was around my own situation of it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So but I ain't gonna lie to it. Like I always like as I got older. You know what I'm saying? I start seeing, like hearing more about them. Disney and theater. I start one of my best friends, mm -hmm. the fruit. You know, you know what I'm saying? This they he from they from they who they start going to they who yep. keeping it over there, seeing dog might come through skating in them cars and shit, man. Damn. You know, the daddy over there, man, they were putting it down. I remember I got about high school when I started going to, you know, different dog shows and parties with them and shit, kicking it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? This is before I was even just thinking about rapping like that. I just was outside having fun. Dang. So how'd you get introduced to all them and stuff? Like, shit. connected that way? Shit, really, dog just started fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There was just a lot of mutual people in the midst, but dog just was fucking with me. Yeah. My hustle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, ain't nobody just ever walk me up and be like, hey, bro, this kind of money, hey, this dog, like, nah, I don't know no shit like that. We're more so, like, to admit your respect, you know what I'm saying? So he seen you doing your own thing, he seen doing and he was thing. like, I'm trying to pick him up. And then, you know, Glock, my, this my partner, this my real brother, this my mm -hmm. day one, so he been fucking, he been, um, son Glock. So yeah. He's just pull up, you know what I'm saying? When that Glock had something going on, like, when he first signed him, when he, you know, a little shit, I just, I always was a part of, like, Support. I was there to support my nigga and shit, man. And Dolph, you just chop it up like this. Yep. Yep. So, Glock is like, what, 26 or something like that? Yeah, we're signing. Right? Okay, you both 26. Dang. Were you guys in the same school together growing up? We went or? to the same school for a couple for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And shit. We always, he liked me at the same school. She used to come to my, my shit. I used to go to their shit. Shit, we just together all the time, 24 7. Dang, man. Popping out, who's outside? We yeah. just started this shit, we been outside, man. So in Memphis, were you guys like, were you guys known, known back then? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? So you guys were like the boys back then? Yeah, they know us all that. Shit, I just started. 
what's one of your like favorite memories from like coming up around that time like being a teenager in memphis and you know just running around with well, glock <laughs> oh well, listen i don't like to do anything hey bro yeah so at this point let's see around like what age that you started creating your music man Around this same age, yeah. I mean, I really started. I was just hustling, mm -hmm. like high school and shit like that. So like late high school, like about to graduate, and shit, I started fucking with music, just trying shit. I started actually making some money, mm -hmm. and like being like mine, just getting experimental with it. And then shit, I started stopped them. no more playing, and selling paper shit. I started actually getting some money, money like when I was about twenty. So that's when I started really. By that time, I was. Hot. Like niggas knew I would corrupt, niggas mm -hmm. was fucking with me, so it was like, man, so I'm spend my money to make this shit bigger. That's when I started really buying cars, buying little chains, mm -hmm. shooting videos. Like, I was doing this shit early too. So, you know, you think it's like really a necessity to be able to blow up with the rap, you gotta be able to show what you got going on too, right? Like, you think the I mean, image for, is 100% a part of it? You for want to know what you're doing. Yeah. Like, this shit ain't like back in the day, and I already kept it. Like, man, when you get done, Man, you wearing your CEO gear, where you folks clothes, where you folks shit. Yeah. Man, you take this shit off and go home, you know better. Like, this this shit don't work like that. And I'm all these folks want to actually see who you is, what you doing, how you act. What Every you single got. day. They want to know what you got going on. They want to get in your business. <laughs> so what do you think about social media nowadays, like, being an artist like that? Like, because people can see everything you're doing all the time. I know, obviously, you guys are smart enough you don't post where you're at until, like, after you leave and stuff like that. But, um. So the media get your ass killed. Yeah. Social media get your ass killed. Social media creating gangsters. Social media creating relationships. Social media run the world. Honestly, social media is social media. A lot of folks be like they can do without social media, but you really get lost with time without it. It's just you gotta know how to work social media and not get caught up in social media. But you need social media. Exactly. Yeah, because it's like I'm you can't grow business yeah, without it nowadays. Yeah, not, I'm not against social media. Trying to be against social media yeah, is gonna lose. Mm -hmm. It's like. Those media is undefeated. Exactly, because that's the only way you can post something, yeah. and thousands of people see it automatically. Like but a lot of people get lost in this shit and do the wrong thing with it, trying to be like, trying to be something they not on social media mm -hmm. for some likes. So for that's where it go wrong. Yeah. Exactly. You yeah. get on social media and be yourself and still get rich. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I try to tell people all the time. Like, I think that's one of the main keys because when you're meeting up with people, like you can't you can't pretend like you just got to be who you are. Yeah. And like if that's who you are, like it's gonna show. So, you're making your music, you know, you came up. What was the next, like, big moment from you from that point? Like, the first significant moment, you think, in the rap industry? Like, whether it was the first... My, like, my first, when I started, like, oh, yeah, shit, I'm a rapper now. <laughs> like, going on tour, this shit did. Like, my first tour, I didn't know what to do. Like, I, I put on clothes, I like to dress, I get fresh as fuck, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But, like, my first tour, like, I was re-rocking, I was recycling, I was... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't know nothing about this show. I don't know we start, when we going to the mall. Uh -huh. Like, I just had to get the hang of this shit. Like, you ain't going home. Ain't no going home. Yeah. Like, like this shit, 30 father days straight, you, had, you ain't no going home. 40 cities straight, like that? Like, first, my first tour, it was so many goddamn cities. Who was it? It was with, with Dog? Yeah. Dog what year was that? Like, two, like, three years ago. It was the No Rules tour, so. Okay, okay. Something like that. Dang, man. The first time I, I seen you. Know, I can't keep up days, bro. I don't know what. Does it start feeling the same when you're on the road like that, all yeah. the shows? It's or do you ever have it like, one's like a really memorable one, or does every show just start feeling like it's every just show a show? different, because it's different cities, different energies, different mm -hmm. cultures, different, like, of course it's the same culture, but I mean different like vibes. Mm -hmm. Like everybody got their own vibe. LA people might be, you might think they not turned up to your music, but they really just high as fuck. <laughs> but they love your music. They can't jump around and get crunk. And you might got Boston who, like they crunk, drunk, crunk. Yeah, like yeah. You, you got different, it's just different vibes. You might got, get back down south to Alabama's and shit like that. And they, my gangster crunk. Like, yeah? Yeah, like it just. Now I heard Texas vibes. is one of the best cities for you guys. Texas is my favorite. Really? Yeah. yeah. You guys did like what, three shows in Texas? Yeah, a little This Texas, year? Texas is my favorite. What was the glaucoma tour like for you this year, man? I, I seen you guys in New York there. And then. Uh, uh, this year, was, that was my breakthrough. Yeah? My act was dunking on them. And you had the blue money coming out the same around the same time, throwing the blue money in the crowd, showing the blue money on Instagram, man. That was like two thirty five thousand blue money. That's what I guess, cause I, it was like a thousand a show you probably threw, right? I fucked this shit up. <sighs> got it right back. Yep, the crowd loves that though. Like, 
I think people really love when they go to a show and they see their favorite artist and then their favorite artist is giving them something back, whether it's like merch, throwing cash in the crowd or like little gifts like that. Like mm -hmm. people love that, man. First time I seen Glock, they threw two shirts in the cloud, crowd in, um, in Orlando. Mm -hmm. I caught one of the shirts and I was like, I was like, damn, man, that's lit. Second time I seen them went to New York this year. And then, you know, I did the interview there. So that's kind of what got me here right now. New York turn. New York was. If you can get in New York to fuck with you, you turn. Yeah. New York, that was a big venue too, the Knockdown Center. Yeah, it was yeah. big So, you know, out of all your projects, my two favorite, Time Is Money, and then the new one, Blue Money, it was kind of hard for me to pick. When it first dropped, I was like, I don't know which one I like more yet, because Time Is Money was like a really on repeat album for me. But, um, time Is Money. <laughs> time is Money is stupid. Is that your favorite? Uh, What's your favorite? Blue Money. Really? That's what a lot of artists the tell looks, me. Though. Yeah? Like the full, the full Blue Money. My favorite the song. First, the original Blue Money was just, was just, was just cool. Man. Mm -hmm. It was just, you know what I'm saying? Sick and Blue Money, the deluxe was just. It turned deluxe, you up. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hey, bro. Make sure y'all watch the street, bro. Oh, come on. Why we watch everything they go through? We just said the white sounds you went past and everything. Yeah. Truck, man, they gotta watch that street. It may back. I don't know what I'm talking about. I said the wrong thing, man. Back in the <laughs> yeah, back in the main back truck. Shit with us, they not pull up point, of course, man. I already know that. Hey. Oh, you secure, you scrape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You secure. <laughs> you ain't got to do nothing. Just, just duck. That's just duck. duck. <laughs> just get low. Hey, I don't don't play with paper around, man. They ain't ready whenever it's time to go, man. Um, hey, what was I about to say though? Oh yeah, so you, Blue Money, you said the deluxe. That's what turns it up. What's your favorite song on the album? Or you want me to say my favorite first? What's your favorite? My favorite is Holy Water. That's my favorite too. Yeah? I was just shot the video there, man. When's it dropping? This week. This week? Okay, okay. So I might try to turn this around around the same time then. Because I'm going to drop the vlog from today and then just I'm going to drop. Just do another one. Just come back and tell them for how, we, how you feel about it. What do you think I did in the video? Let's see if you're right. If you're right, I'll give you $1,000. Shit, that's a, Hey, $1,000? I know you got some water on it, and I just seen you in Miami, so I'm guessing you were at the beach. We can see if you're right. If you're right, just send me a thousand dollars real quick. <laughs> All right, bet. Shit, man. I already know, Miami, you got to be on the boats, and you got to be on the beach. On oh, my mom, if you're right, I'll give you a thousand. I'm going to give you a thousand dollars. All right, bet. Bet. Everybody, and you in Florida, man, that's people's favorite thing to do. They got to go spend. You guys hit the mall when you were in Miami or what? Aventura Mall? That's the biggest, like, biggest Louis Vuitton, biggest Gucci store, all that. I shot when I landed. No bags? Uh, I packed too, man. Yeah? Oh, shit, I man. Like, I ain't with the flies and cash. <laughs> guys will tell you, man, so you might get somewhere that ain't got what you want, man. Mm -hmm. Shit, I got, I like, I just, I got this shit everywhere. Yeah. I have to take clothes with me, buy clothes when I get there. But I'm going straight to the mall when I get to them. Because okay. different cities got different cities. Certain designers, every city got the same shit, but certain cities got like a certain piece. Like I shop for pieces. Mm -hmm. I don't shop for outfits. I shop for pieces. That's what I do too. Like yeah. these pants, my boy did their custom. You know, these shoes, you know, I switched them up, switched the laces on my Air Force. Yeah. And, um, you know, I like to find different stuff and then pick colors and then just throw it all together for, to make the fit that I'm rocking for the day. Mm -hmm. um, so what's your favorite city? What, what city has the best drip that you think? Clothes? Clothes, shoes, whatever. New York got this shit. Yeah? Yeah. That's what I hear. New York, Miami. That's what New everybody York tells me. New York got this shit. I don't know about anybody else. New York got this shit. <laughs> New York got it. What's your favorite uh, designer brand? Or do you not really care as much for designer as like my pieces? My favorite. I mean, I like Montclair. Yeah? I'm a December, I'm a December baby. Folks wonder why I like Montclair. I just like coats because I'm, I'm born in December. I like I love when it get cold outside. It'll give me mm -hmm. a stupid ass coat. Yeah, I mean winter drip. Winter drip is a lot harder than like summer Cosmo. and stuff. It does. You know, you, gotta, got, you know who really have the money when you fresh as fuck in the winter? Bro, coat coat be going for everybody thousands. Can everybody can be fresh in the summer. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do in winter time? <laughs> nah, the winter be crazy. Like to put it on in the winter, like you gotta be spending, spending. Fresh but shit on winter time, summertime, spring, fall, whatever you wanna do. <laughs> so I'm, I'm him. Who who's your biggest inspiration when it comes to dressing and stuff like that, fashion and all that? Like, 
you know what I'm saying? Like Inspiration. Yeah, you know, like, because me, I like watching, like, Paris Fashion Week, you know, stuff like that, people that give me inspiration. Dog's the freshest nigga to do this shit. I don't know nothing about Paris. I ain't been to Paris. I don't know nothing about Honestly, bro, to be real, we I'm I'm gonna put this shit on before the mannequin. They need to start using me. <laughs> like all the fashion weeks and shit, them folks don't be having this shit on. They need to put me on the on the walkway. Sure you would be that. a model? Yeah, yeah, I'd be a model. I'm a model already. Yeah, that's when true. I don't drop music, I post pictures. That's true. I stay hot post pictures. I just post pictures. I just put on clothes. I don't put on no music, I just put on clothes. Mm -hmm. I'm a model. That's true. That's that what true. I use Instagram for. Folks use Instagram <laughs> for the wrong shit. All they try to be gangster killer shit, man. Take some photos, get some bitches. Like, use the shit the right way, bro. All this other shit weak. That shit, this shit is 2023, man. That's it, man. That's it. That's what people should really be focused on, like. Bitches. And that's money. it. That's it. If they good vibes. Focus on the money, the bitches gonna come. It's like a combo, I think, for the most part. But then you gotta watch which ones are coming around too, don't you think? I don't. You I don't? don't give me no shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'll go work my ass off before I give us up. But once you give me, I get you though. It's vice versa. You, you go vice versa, man. But I know if it's coming to my world and think like, we want to text him, bitch, please. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. You got any kids? No. No? You all. It's tricking too. You think so? I ain't tricking my dick off. You, gonna, you plan on having oh, a family? Yeah, I'm a family. Yeah. I'm a big ass family. That's what I want too. Like, the more money I make, I think the more kids I'll have. I'm gonna like, get married too. Yeah. Hell yeah. Big ass Kenny Money McWedding. Yeah, that's right. But right now, I'm, you see my wedding ring, red <laughs> wedding finger. Married to your paper. Damn, bro. Yeah, married to your money. Big paper out ring, big money ring. Yeah. Dang. So, what's one of your favorite jewelry pieces since you're on the subject? You brought that up. I'm a fan of the Cartier Skeleton watches, though. Those are hard. I mean, it's not the regular one. Yeah. I don't wear the regular one. I wouldn't wear the regular one. Yeah, yeah, the I regular DeSantos. I don't DeSantos. know with the regular one, but I didn't want the regular one. I had to go back this one. You see the but new... I wanted the Cartier, though. Yeah? Yeah, I just had to go beat. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you see the new skeleton they dropped? Mm -hmm. They got a plane on the inside of that bitch. When I get the money, I'm going to buy it. Nasty. Yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you. I'm gonna be... I don't think nobody got that yet. I mean, you might go get it now. But I'm buying no more Cartier. No? What you want next? Or is it a secret? I don't have a want for things. Yeah. Like, if I see something, I'm gonna go get it. Mm -hmm. If I can't get it at the moment, by the time I got the money to go get something, it it won't be that again. Yeah. It'll be something better or something. You know what I'm saying? All I got, I'm a real, I'm ambitious as fuck. Mm -hmm. And I'm competitive with myself, so it'd be like, like, damn, I ain't got the money to buy it right now. Mm -hmm. So I go hustle my ass off. By the time I got the money, I got the time, too. Yeah. So I'm going to go buy something, dig up better. So I don't really know what I want to answer that question. I don't know. Yeah. That's what a lot of people got to realize. Like, being in competition and try to level up, the last thing you did for yourself is, like, one of the biggest things you can do to push you yeah, to grow as a person. I no, I don't compete with niggas. I ain't no comparison. No. I'm not in my all. own line. I compete with myself. I want to be better than me. Exactly. Better as than long as I'm better than me, I'm winning. That's facts. As long as I'm better than I was yesterday, I can't lose. I ain't in no race with nobody. Anybody who's racing with me, you already lost. Because I, I already got to where I was going. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> you still trying to get somewhere. That's fact. That's fact. Now you know it would be niggas that got way more money than you would be hating on you. That's true. That, but it's like, well, that's be, like I said, you like can't fake it. they have been competition with you. they would be way far gone and it come all the way back down to your level just to race with you and and lose and that's how you, you you experience that a lot you think every day every day damn man you know how how because they care about shit i don't care about that's true that's true like they care about who everybody the talking about who who the hype is i care about can i is my mama laid on a bill is she straight i mm -hmm. care about this so you racing to see who the hype is I'm racing to go pay a bill. Mm. I'm gonna go pay this bill before you break, before you make it to whatever you trying to get to. I'm gonna win. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean by like I'm in my own race. Like them niggas, these niggas just be they be competing with a nigga that's not competing. I'm not competing. Yeah, you're just trying to be a better you every day. Yeah. So you know you did it all, man. You take care of your family, bought the truck you want, Maybach truck. Like, is there any other stuff that you think at your age, like only 26 too, right? 
So what is like something that you think you want to accomplish that you haven't already? I want to turn somebody else's rap career up. Yeah. yeah. So you want that's to start signing people? That's why I've been working my ass off because I, I can't expect nobody to listen to me or know or, or take this shit serious and I want to take this serious because I actually want to take this shit serious and mm -hmm. I'm supposed to. So... And that's, yeah, that's, what my, that's what I want to do. I want to turn somebody up. I want to turn somebody up. I got to turn myself up first. But I got to turn myself all the way up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn somebody up. You uh, have any people you've been watching? Like I coming? Play with my little brothers, you know? Shit, my little brothers. Oh, you got siblings? Heart. You got siblings? Hey, shit, they ain't got, I don't got friends. Yeah. Shit, so they like siblings. I feel you. Yeah, yeah, my little brothers are hard. Yeah. I got plenty of folks that's hard. I ain't going to go turn on a stranger. Yeah. The only way I go turn up a stranger is if I just see something in a stranger. I just see that they just like got it, mm -hmm. and they just meet it like everybody holding their nuts on them, mm -hmm. and don't nobody want to fuck with them mm -hmm. because they just they a threat. Like I go fuck with something like that. Like, yeah. I see you a threat, and ain't nobody fucking with you. I fuck with you. I like underdogs. Yeah. But I, I ain't gonna never be on. I don't want to jump on nobody wave. If you already got something going on, you already moving. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be one of them people who just take sign them over and take credit. That ain't my thing. Yeah. Yeah, you know? for sure. That's a like real humble thing, I think. Like wanting to turn people up and put them on once you already grew yourself to like the level you're at now. Yeah. What's next for your music? Shit, I'm gonna drop again. Another album? Uh -huh. How many songs I got? Uh -huh. <sighs> Tune in. I'm a guess. I'm a guess it's a I guess it right, I got you the album now. Sixteen? There's Sixteen songs on there, I'm gonna <laughs> send me a request. So you gonna send me two bands if I'm right. One for the music video, one for the album count. Hang around me, you might run, you might make a lot of money. <laughs> I, I gamble, I love to gamble, bro. I've but never gambled ask, before. You ask me what I used to do back in the day, that's what I was, I was a gambler. That's how you made money? Yeah, yeah. I, I never, can you teach me how to play craps? I never, not shot, not, none of that. I don't know how to do none of that stuff. The game is to be sold, not told, man. So I'm trying to tell you, I can teach you, but it's going to cost you. So you gonna charge me back to teach me how to play dice? I'm just gonna break the shit out of you. <laughs> I lose enough money to the point where it's like, my, I gotta, I gotta get good at this. You gonna lose enough money. You gonna learn how to do something. You lose enough money doing it. You gonna find a way. Hell yeah. I lost a lot of money like trying to get to where I'm at so far. I spend money every day like trying to come up with something. Even today, you know, I already spent some money coming here, but I already know you gotta spend money to make it back. You gotta spend money to make money back. <sighs> so ain't no, ain't no, ain't no. Scared money don't make no money. If you scared to invest, if you scared to goddamn, you scared to put something in, you ain't get nothing out this shit. Mm -hmm. like, this with life, this with business, this with anything. If you don't put nothing in, you ain't getting shit out. You know what I'm saying? You don't go inside the building, you ain't gonna never come out the building. Mm -hmm. You never went in. That's facts. Straight up. Hey, there's a lot of people turning up now. What time is it? They're pulling pull up. Yeah, they're pulling up, they're man. They're pulling up. I need to be pulling out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, got to put in, got to put the work in. For sure. That's all I'm on. I'm putting work in. So, I'm going to ask you a couple more questions, and then I'm going to let you say whatever you want at the end. But what's one thing that you want people to know when it comes to, like, building yourself up and wanting to develop yourself, you know, and build a career? Like, what's some advice you got for them for that? Trust yourself. Love yourself, like get into you, be you, get them folks you, like you can't lose. Get them for anything other than you, you gonna lose. Mm -hmm. Like fake shit get exposed one day, you know what I'm saying? All that doubting yourself, you gonna always be holding yourself back. All that letting other people's opinions matter, you gonna always let other people hold you back, man. Just do your thing, just do what you wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Being yourself don't mean being trapped in one spot. Being yourself means you might learn something new about yourself that other people might not approve of. Mm -hmm. Still do what you want to do and make them folks feel you. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You might wake up right now and say, man, I want to be a killer. <laughs> if you want to be a killer, <laughs> God damn it, she going to kill you a couple motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And she they going to feed you. Yeah. That don't mean you a gangster. Mm -hmm. It just means you a killer. You, t you, you know what I'm saying? If you want to be a motherfucking doctor just put the work in to be a doctor you want to be a motherfucking you know what i'm saying you want to do podcasts you want to do interviews buy you a camera show these folks you serious you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying you want to be a rapper take your ass to the studio you just got to do shit show these folks you serious it's it it's all i'm saying like whatever you want to do however you want to do it be mm -hmm. yourself 
do what the fuck you want to do and make these four feet. This is it. Straight up. And that's your advice for him. It's my advice for him. If you don't do that, I don't know what, what else going. I don't know how you gonna make it if you don't take yourself serious. Like nobody gonna take you serious, bro. One hundred percent. All right, bro. And the last thing, I'm gonna let you say whatever you want to say for the end, man. Sean see it so much. Sean really think I done touched base on this. <laughs> I think so, man. Big, that was a good interview, bro. Big money, blue money, long live Dolph, man. You know what I'm saying? Long live Dolph. Paper shit. route. Paper route to hike a team. The ice skaters, whatever you want to call this shit, man. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Shit, after this go up, I'm about to be ice skating too. Yeah. <laughs> shit. You ain't cover them bits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Turn yourself up some more. I will. I will. Hey, man. Interview with Kenny Money. We in Atlanta, Georgia right now. Y'all tap in. Go get that Blue Money Deluxe. Yeah. Run it up. Check out his Instagram. All my stuff I got. And, um, you know, I'm going to be back with the Paper Route team. This is my favorite rap group of all time. You already know that. You can see we did the Glock Home Tour interview with Glock, Spencer, and Band Play already. Turned up with them in Miami last week. And, um, you know, y'all follow through. Go see everything I'm dropping. You, and I let you interview me. I'm gonna put this bitch on pause for you to interview me. Oh, yeah. So we gotta wrap this shit up. We gotta be positive. I'm gonna curse this bitch out, man. I gotta finish cursing this bitch out. <laughs> I want to done. I ain't done. Yo, I, I'm telling you, we just did a good interview, but I'm, she finna get a real. I'm finna curse this bitch out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, this bitch gonna piss me off, man. <laughs> Kenny Money, man, that's it, y'all. <laughs>